there, I'm Simone Radley from Ink London Nails and in this video we are going to do the design that I did for these nails which is from my shirt. So we're going to have a look at how I did this. I love this shirt, it is a vintage 80s ensemble um, and when I had a client in I first got my shirt I thought that's it, I've got to do that. So I did. So we're going to start with two coats of 156. This white is really white. And because it's so highly pigmented, you just need to paint it thin. That coat is cured, so we're going to come in with our second coat. Again, nice and thin, 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 just like we did our first coat. Pop that into cure again for 60 seconds. So now that's cured, then we're going to come in and paint our design. So for the design, I'm going to use one of my favourite things, black no white gel paint. It is fabulous, I use it loads. Um, I use it from no art really, to be honest. So we're going to use this and I'm going to decant a little bit onto my silicone pad. So I'm just going to use my brush to do it, which is, of course, you will know by now, my favourite 15mm liner. So before I paint these lines on, I'm just going to get a little bit of the green cleaner on a lint free white. I'm just going to wipe over this white because I just don't want it so sticky. Um, because... It's not great to paint on. If you're wanting to do like thin lines or an intricate design, if you leave it sticky, you can get quite a lot of drag in your brush, which is a bit of a pain in the bum and it can interrupt your lines. So that's why I wipe the sticky off. I've decanted my gel paint out onto my pad with my brush. And then I just roll my brush through the paint so I get a nice even coat on my brush. And we're going to start painting our lines. So we're going full on 80s vibes, which I'm a fan of. And I'll tell you what, I was born in the 80s, I was born in 84, but I feel like I should have grown up in the 80s because my hair is made for it. Nobody wants this hair these days, but eight is all about it, wasn't they? So I've got to dress eight is just to blend it in. <laughs> so I'm just looking at my shirt for inspiration. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. So just because you're looking at something for a bit of inspiration, it, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Can be how however you want it to be. And we get these really nice lines with this brush and this paint. So if you've been struggling with lines for whatever reason, could be down to your brush, could be down to your paint. So if you've not got one of these brushes and this paint, give it a bash. I also want, not that brush, that brush, the Artiste brush. This one is so good for little details because it's a super thin brush, but it's quite short. So it's shorter than the 15 mil. Um, I don't know if you can see that, focus, there you go. Um, and it's really nice for doing little details and little lines. So I kind of flip between the two really. So in here I'm going to do like kind of little triangle type 
things. And I've not cured this yet, which is another good thing with the gel paint. It doesn't move anywhere. So if you've used Eyelac to paint your designs, you will notice obviously that it it flows and it spreads out, which is great for doing some parts of it to that. If I'm painting like blocks of colour, which I'm going to do in this in a minute, or if I'm painting, yeah, like faces and I want a block colour as the main part of the face or something like that, I like it's perfect because it flows out. So it's it gives a nice sort of level surface and it flows out into the gaps that you want. But if you're wanting to do precise things like this, you really need to use the gel paint so it stays where you want it. So I'm just going to come into the top of here now and add some extra lines. I think this has got to be my favourite shirt at the moment. I blooming love it. What do you think, Joanna? What did you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Joanna's fell asleep in the corner. No, I was right. She's, She's not interested. In she is not interested in my nail. <laughs> I was writing an email. Sorry, what was the question? I let you ask. I said, what do you think? My this shirt is my favourite shirt at the minute. What do you reckon? It's pretty funky. Do you like it? Yeah. So I'm adding in some more little thin lines. rubbing it so far. So at this stage I'm going to just flash curl it for a few seconds because I'm coming to the point where I might put my finger in it, I'm not going to lie. Um, and also I'm going to fill in some bits of colour as well so I want to make sure it's cured, ready to do that. I'm going to whip it out and I'm just going to add in some other lines. Very liney this shirt. Now I'm gonna put in some zig zigzags. Zig and zag, they were on like a breakfast show, weren't they? good so we need a bit of colour and I want some dots as well so for dots this is a time when it is good to use eyelac rather than a gel paint because if you do your dots in the gel paint because it's quite thick you can get I don't know how you describe it but when you put your dot with your dotting tool and you pull it up because it's quite thick, it like strings up, so it makes like a bit of a peak on the top, and then that string can fall over, and it, it comes outside of your dot and makes it look a bit messy. Whereas if you use eyelac, you don't get that issue because it's a thinner consistency. So I'm going to put in some dots here. Again, they don't need to all be the same size. And I'm going to pop that in just for a few seconds to flash cure. So now that's come out of the lamp, I'm going to use some colour. So I have got I-150, which is one of my favourite colours. I love it. It's a super duper bright pink. I really like this. And my clients love this as well. My clients are very pink clients. Then I have got 157, which is a bright yellow. And then I'm going to use my other favourite colour, 
175 absolutely loves this and to be honest i'm not a purple fan i've never been a purple fan but this has changed me this color blooming love it so we've got some nice bright colors going on so I'm going to use my vice versa brush just because I want a brush that's been a little bit thicker for this. It's not really thick and it's still got a really nice pointed end on it. So it is great for doing nail art bits. Um, but it's just obviously thicker than the artiste. And I'm just using the very tip of it carefully easy does it to fill in a colour into this triangle here and now I'm going to use my yellow 157 I'm just going to make this triangle yellow exactly the same as how I've just done the pink Now I've filled that colour in, I'm going to just pop it in, just to flash kill it for a few seconds because I don't want it to go anywhere. So that's fine now that it is flash cured, it's going to stay and we've got this space up here at the top. Which obviously I want to fill in. So we're going to put something up there and I'm looking and I'm thinking... I can't really decide what I want in there. There's so many different things on this shirt. It's like a bit of a leafy thing, but I think I'm going to go with the like crisscross, like checkerboard type thing. I think that'll be quite cool up here. So I'm going to start off with one straight line to separate, separate it from these dots. And then I'm going to come in and just lightly, lightly, lightly put some lines going one way and then we're going to come back and put them going the other way. Good. So look, that crisscrossy bit. Let's fill that part in and it looks really good there I think. Then I'm just thinking I might put a little bit of extra colour on. I'm going to pop it down here in the bottom. Because I really want to get some purple in. So I'm just making like a random triangle shape in the bottom there. And I'm going to pop that into Flash Cure. So now it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to just put some purple in there. Just because I love this purple and I wanted to get it in. Pop that in. I'm going to pop it in for a full cure now. So I'm going to cure it for 120 seconds because I've got that gel paint on there. Um, and with it being so highly pigmented, I want to make sure that it's cured right through. Cured, and I've got to say, a little bit. I want it matte. <laughs> of course, I want it matte. So I'm going to paint it first. If you've seen any further videos, you will know that you must paint it first in a shiny top coat. I'm going to do a rock plus because otherwise, the matte will just pull all your design off, and you'll want to stab yourself in the face because you've just spent all that time painting it. And then it's going to go away. Cure it for 60 seconds. So now it's come out of the lamp with a shiny. We're going to make it matte with our velvet matte. And it really does feel velvety when it's done. Blooming love the stuff. 
when I watch these videos back, I think I'm going to sound really odd. <laughs> Maybe Yorkshire. Because Joanna is from Yorkshire. Um, she's got quite a strong accent. <laughs> I'm from Leeds, what do you expect? <laughs> See, she's a Leeds ass. I hate hearing my own voice. I'm just <laughs> Well, she better get used to it, eh? Mm. And I'm from Lincoln, which I think is basically the place of no accent, whatever. And I'll hold my hands up. I'm an accent leech. Proper big time leech. I can't help it. I don't even mean to do it. I don't know I'm doing it. But before you know it, I've got a thick Yorkshire accent. Or if I'm in Manchester, I'm talking a bit Mancunian. I can't, I don't know why. <laughs> I can't help it. So if the, on these videos I sound a bit Yorkshire, <laughs> I'm not from Yorkshire at all. <laughs> so we've done our velvet matte top coat. I'm going to put that in from full cure. That's it, done. And oh my god. I blooming love it. What well, I need to have these nails. I just need them. But um, I never get time to do my own nails these days. Maybe Joanna will do them for me.